Well, if it's possible, the Scarlets coach, Dwayne Peel, needs a lift even more than Warren Gatland. Just two wins all season, both against Cardiff and just the fireless dragons and toothless sharks beneath them in the league. At least that's how it was at the start of the weekend. The good news for Scarlets fans, they do have most of their internationals back, including at 9 and 10, Gareth Davis and Sam Costello. Benetton players make up more than half of Italy's match day squads. And even with the bulk of those missing here, they still have five involved today who beat Wales last Saturday. Simone Ferrari and Lorenzo Cononi both started at the Principality Stadium. Andy Uren and Jacob Umanga will be familiar to followers of the English Premiership. Half of the bench were also part of Gonzalo Cazada's squad. Right Dwayne Peel. No problem. If I'm in your way, just let me know. Yeah. We're looking go, yeah. for a change of fortune. Okay, really, please. any hope of Scarlets Captain. making the playoffs have gone. It's now about trying to create some sort of respectability, and it is Costello who gets us underway. There's Davis. From the kick, we and have it's on run. to uh, Dan Davis, and the Scarlets the get the first penalty of the Straight match. On the ball, hands the so looking for a good start to his Saturday, Sam Costello. And he's moved that quite nicely. Just boon it into touch, reset, start again. Among up. Advantage offside. The Scarlets have come offside, so penalty we do have a time. penalty coming. Number 13, yeah, hell yeah. There's the carry from Mile, the So Among yeah. Cancelling out the effort from Costello. Three points apiece. We've Christ. always been a club with plenty of backing, plenty of funding. Bind! And they have a very Set. deep squad, which I guess when you put so many players into the Italy team, you need to have. Lewis Lyon are joining them next season as well. That was Drago taking the contact. Juren on to Umanga. There's Reno Smith in the line out to Retabe. And he just skips through and he barely got out of second gear. All too easy for the men from Treviso. That's exactly what they wanted. Just retire a one on one. It's one hit up, one miss move. Rhino Smith just gets in the outside. Good hands, one on one. I saw Retave once. Breezes through Johan Lloyd far too easily. Nice, Goes a little bit better than that. Yeah, I've got you. Yeah, he is big, he is strong and powerful, but it's a one on one tackle. Oh, Got to be making those tackles at this level, though, don't you? Back by Green. Taken in by Kanani. Off he no red, release! Initially good then off his feet. Play on the impact. Smith picking that up neatly on the uh, half volley. Ratave. Just confirmed penalty, is it Elliot or OK? And here goes Johan Lloyd, the referee was just waiting for some confirmation from his television match official but it's a late tackle that they could have won you know the dragons game they lost by a point they had a kick to Hold win it. it the lions Keep as well coming. look at that that tells you how much it's blowing Costello firing it up in the air and then having to take two or three steps back Use to it. catch it i tell you a couple of seasons ago when he was playing at wasps jacob among that there was talk about him being one of those potential fly halves to play for england it never did happen that, if anything, ups the ante for the men from Flanetli. There is uh, Kieran Hardy. Oh, was attached. Okay, high tackle, yeah. Well, there was a high tackle referee playing okay, another advantage here. Fair play to Costa, though. 25 and a half minutes to go at Parker Scarlets. The deficit just seven points. Craig offloading to Williams. Here goes Johnny Williams. It knows only one direction. The tackle from Nima. Penalty. That's a good connection. Straight through the sweet spot. They are going to get two cracks at it, if you know what I mean. Kieran Hardy tries to go himself. There's the outflow. Evans gets the score. Well, the referee has blown the whistle. He wants to check it. Let's see. Oh, well, the tackle's high, isn't it? That first tackle's worth looking at as well, isn't it? 
Well, has the momentum taken him over? Well, it's off the ground it's now. See, what do you make of that? It's a tough one. It's one of those where maybe the on-field decision there may prove to be decisive. I don't know if it's high tackle. It looks like it's on his shoulder. It's not a try. It's held up there. Squirts out. How unlucky is that for Steph Evans? You can tell by his reaction as well. Yeah, got that. So from, from the footage, we can see that your initial thoughts are correct, that it's held up in goal and knocked on, so you can go back to the penalty. Penalty, perfect, thank you. It's no try. We're going back here. Well, they were literally millimetres away from a third win of the season. Get all the backs in there straight away. Saw it last night with the Ospreys. It worked. Worked so many times. So, Edwin Swart goes to Fafita. It's OK so far. Now, here they come, the reinforcements. That's one stop. Not quite all 14, but certainly... Ten of them. They've still got it. It's another advantage. It's still alive. Edwin Swart has got them. It has been a long time coming. The 83rd minute for the try. They've come so close all the way through this game. You thought it was their last chance when Steph Evans fumbled it over the line. Frank, One more off. chance they had, the last chance they've done it. Won the line out. That was the first effort. Okay, that was huge. Okay, He's been struggling all day. Time, give you time. time off. Okay, guys, I need you on the line. And Costello. Oh, I say. I'm not sure that went out in the middle. But at the end, that sums up Sam Costello's and the Scarlet's day.